went to my favorite spot called La Casita, which is on the north side of the river mouth. We got up at uh, 4.30 a.m. or so, my friend Edgar and I. We went and paddled across the river mouth like we always do. Everybody knows that there are crocodiles living in the river and that sometimes they come down the river and come out into the ocean. I had been going there for about 15 years at that point and I had seen two crocodiles. We surfed for a couple hours, our typical thing, and so around 7 o'clock we were done. We walk a few hundred yards down the beach and we make it to the river mouth and we jump in to paddle back across. Walked in, I'm not sure if I was on the board or I might have been standing in the water about to jump onto the board, but uh, suddenly I'm pulled under the water. The sun was bright enough and the water was clear enough that I could look down through the water and there was a crocodile on my leg. It was just clear to me that, uh, that there was no other option besides me getting away. It was like there was business to be done and I was going to take care of the business. I started punching him in the face and he had my right leg, but with my free left leg, I sprung myself off the bottom and got myself back up to the surface. There were probably four or five times when I got pulled down and sprung myself off the bottom. He released my ankle but he wasn't done with me and he came up and first he grabbed one of my arms and then I punched him with the other arm. Then he grabbed the other arm and I punched him with the free arm again. Finally, somehow he, he let go of my arms and he came at me and he got my head in his mouth. I feel like I kind of had my Incredible Hulk moment where I, uh, I think I screamed I did this roar and I got my hands inside of his jaws and since I'm sitting here right now I presume that I must have pulled his mouth in. and after I peeled his mouth off of my head I kind of picked him up and threw him away from me put me back on my board and he towed me the other 40 yards or so we had to go to cross the rest of the river mouth to get to the beach on the Tamarindo side of things. When I was laying on the beach, I took one look down to my side and saw the really ugly thing that used to be my foot, at about a 90 degree angle off to my body, very bloody and very mangled. And I kind of made this deal with myself at that point, you know, don't look back there, because that's not gonna make you feel any better. A woman who I've since become friends with who just kind of showed up by miracle on the beach that morning too and was one of the first people to stumble upon me. She took her shirt off and made it into a tourniquet and tied up my leg, which, who knows, may have saved my life too. The last conversation I remember was uh, was getting wheeled into the operating room where I said, so, so of course you're going to save my foot, right? And she looks at me and shakes her head and, and said no. I think in two or three weeks, I was being fitted for my first prosthesis, and in about a month, I was beginning to walk. There's my pin, which attaches me. It goes into this hole in the bottom, and there's a ratchet device in there. I got back in my whitewater kayak and was kayaking again, and I was back on my road bike and my mountain bike. Everything is probably more fun than it was before knowing that uh, you know that I had to go through some serious shit to, to get here.
was so anxious to get back in. We were talking about getting back in in the hospital in Costa Rica. And when I got out there, I had both my sons with me. And basically, you know, the A number one on planet Earth is for me to be out in the lineup with my sons. And if I get a wave, that's the gravy. But just the being there is the prize. And, uh, and when I was out there, there were, there was some other forms of being of salt water being added to the ocean when I was there because it was just as, as great as could possibly be.